Welcome to the third edition of the Healthy Stress Doctor podcast. In this cast, I'd like to talk about the subject of my most recent newsletter. You can get my free e-newsletter by going to my website, www.healthystressdoctor.com. That's all one word spilled out, Healthy Stress Doctor. In this newsletter, I talk about words and language. And words and language are everything in stress. Remember, what you tell yourself about a potential stressor and your ability to cope with it determines whether or not that becomes an actual stressor. The words you use relating to the threat involved in the potential stressor and your ability to cope with it are everything. There's three categories of words you really need to start paying attention to. The first category are permanence words. And permanence refers to how long you think a stressor will be around in your life. So if you catch yourself saying things like, I'll never get out of debt, or I'll never be able to pay those bills, or I'll always have bills, or I'll always be in debt, what you're doing is you're projecting into the future saying that something will always be or never be in your life. And in reality, your life changes. Uh, You're going to have bills, sure, but the current bill you're stressing over will eventually get paid and you'll move on with your life. So when you say, I'll never get out of debt or I'll never be able to pay a bill, you're using permanence words to create stress. Pervasiveness words refer to how much of your life the stressor affects. So when you find yourself saying, I can't do anything right because you failed at one project and it stressed you out, Well, you're now generalizing from the one thing you couldn't do very well to everything. So you're saying, I can't do anything right. Or if you say something like, oh, men are such total jerks, or women are such total jerks. Well, in reality, you don't know all men and all women. And in reality, some men are jerky and some women are. But uh, very few people are total anything. So again, you're generalizing, you're making one trait pervasive for all traits. The last category of words are called personalization words, where you uh, put everything on yourself and your own shoulders. You take too much responsibility for things, and you personalize everything. So you'll make statements like, it's all my fault that that project went wrong. And in actuality, in the work world, very few things are all of anybody's fault. Projects originate with one set of people and pass through your boss, and sometimes there is a team involved. So very rarely is anything all your fault. But when you find yourself personalizing everything, again, it's time to step back. So if you start paying attention to categories of words, you know, permanence words, pervasiveness words, and personalization words, uh, you'll find yourself being able to stop yourself when you start thinking this way and to substitute more more rational evaluation of these potential stressors. And again, in my books and my workshops, uh, I talk a lot about this, and in the category of rethink, when we get to coping, my rethink uh, strategies will help you uh, relearn how to use language properly. So I hope you enjoyed this cast, and again, get to my newsletter and read all about the importance of words at www.healthystressdoctor.com, and I'll see you next month. Thanks.